So you remember the story we talked about last week about three puppies playing at the park and then two more coming along? Well, let's take a look at that with a part part whole grid. So do you see the three puppies uh, playing at the park? See, one, two, three puppies playing at the park. And then two more puppies came along, and there they are over there. Yeah, I know I didn't really put puppies up on the screen, but those circles can really show that we saw puppies without actually spending the time to draw the puppies. And that's what mathematicians do. They try and make things simpler or efficient. So now that we've got these three puppies playing at the park, and then two more came along, how many are there all together? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five. All right, so how can the part part whole grid help us really understand this and remember it? That three puppies and two puppies makes five puppies, or Three fingers and two fingers makes five fingers. Or three cookies and two cookies makes five cookies. Well, we can show those puppies, or those three circles, and the two circles all playing together. So there are the three puppies playing, and then here are the two more puppies playing with them. So when we moved the three puppies and the two puppies up into the hole, the big rectangle, now we see them all playing together at the park. So now we know that the part, the three part that was down here to begin with, and the two part, when they come together, make the five. So that's why we call it a part, part, whole grid, because those two parts, when they come together, make a whole. Now, sometimes we tell our stories with pictures, or we call them diagrams, when we don't actually draw the puppies. And sometimes we show them with numbers. And let's take a look now at the same puppy stories with numbers. I see three puppies playing at the park. There they are. And then I see two more puppies coming along to play with them. And when we look at them all together, we can see three puppies were playing at the park, and then two more came along, and we don't want to see those two numbers right next to each other, because then they would say 32, which we'll learn about maybe later. But for now, what we want to do is we want to put a symbol in between them that shows that they are connecting together. They're going to be playing together. So we put a plus sign and that says that we're joining those two numbers together, those those two parts that are the parts three puppies and two puppies. So now we, we know that three plus two is the whole and how much was that? Oh yeah, it was five. So we can move, we can show that the three, the part three and the part two, when we put them all together, made five. All right. So now that we've been talking about puppies coming together or joining together to play, let's talk a little bit about what 
what would happen if we knew how many puppies were already playing together and then some of them had to go home. We can see that if we knew that there were five puppies playing at the park and two had to go home, then how many were still left playing at the park? Oh, three. So three were playing at the park. So we can say that five minus two, or five take away two, gives us three. And, and now we have the whole story to look at. We can see three puppies and two more puppies coming along and then all together that makes five puppies. So now, now that we're studying the subtraction, we can go back and look at these ideas. Uh, we looked at that with numbers. Since we have the whole story here for us, we can see that five take away two leaves us with three. And we could also see that five take away three, if five puppies were playing at the park and three had to go home, then we'd have two left playing at the park. Show me that with your fingers. Do you s and show me five puppies and show me three going home this time. Five, and put three fingers down. Five puppies, and three had to go home. Two were left. See that on your fingers? You've got two fingers left. Okay, show me five puppies playing at the park again. Five puppies at the park, and show me two going home. Two had to go home. Aha, how many are left at the park playing? Oh yeah, it's three.